Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa's Paper Passion coming to you with a design team, guest design team video for Diamond Dyes. It's D Store. I was very lucky and blessed to be chosen to design for her for two months and that included the YouTube hop which I'm sure all of you or most of you have already seen because there's a lot of talented ladies out there who participated in that. So let me go ahead and quickly show you what I made. This is my second set of projects for the month of July and then there's one more possibly two more one more for sure but I, I'm going to show you something at the end of the video that I just bought from Diamond Dyes that I want to share a project that I made with it came out super cute so without further ado let me go ahead and show you the first one this is one of those hoops that I've talked to you guys about before I got from Joann's when they had like an after Christmas sale and I love altering these and what I did is I used the diamond dyes leaf dye and I cut it out with my of course I love pink with some pay, uh, pink cardstock and made a bow out of it isn't that cute so when you look at things to create with don't just look at it for what it is expand your crafting horizon and look at look for other things you can create with it in this case I made a bow out of a leaf and then the surrounding flowers that are uh, the circumference of the circle I used the, this dye and I'm not 100% sure what the dye is called but I think it's the dogwood but I used the two different sizes this one and then the next size up which is hiding behind this one I like using these because you can make all sorts of beautiful flowers with them and that's what I did and then in the middle of each one I just put like a, a little squirt of stickles which gave it the glittery look and then the second set of things that I made are these beautiful shakers. And although this particular die wasn't part of my design team project, I did buy it from her because I really wanted to make shaker dies. And it's perfect to insert one inside the other to make a frame. And of course, that's how you make the, the shaker. There's a lot of videos on YouTube, so if you can't find one that's easy for you to follow, let me know and I'll be happy to do one. But otherwise, you know, there's tons of videos on there how to make shakers. And that's how it shakes. On the bottom, I just bought, um, I think these were from Hobby Lobby, if I'm not mistaken. And then on top, there's just a little simple bow. Sorry, my hands are sweaty. It's really hot in here. Just rushed in from work. And then this one is a, sec is a second shaker. So same concept I used. I used a pretty good layers, a pretty thick layer. One, two, three four layers of foam because I really wanted to make sure that I had enough room to have you know the multi-dimensional shaker that S was supposed to be the other side which has a saying on there but oh well I guess it's love and an S loves so thank you for stopping by um, oh there's one more thing I want to show you this is the die that I mentioned before I hope this is the mason jar you know as you could tell it's pretty large and I can't wait to create with it this is of course also from diamond dies and thank you for stopping by. I'll put the discount code you can use to mention my name. I don't know exactly what it is. I'll have to look it up, but I'll put it in the comments section so you can go get your, um, your dies at a discount. Thank you all for your support and comments. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Um, I do have a big giveaway coming up as soon as I hit 3,000. Thank you. God bless. Bye.